Today, I want to go over how to use Excel software for component selection scenario. During the component selection scenarios, teams must choose between a series of components and they must decide if, first of all, they meet mission requirements, but also they must meet weight and budget restrictions. For the case today, I'm going to describe how to use Excel to pick three different components and and so that they meet a weight restriction of 110.3 kilograms. The first thing you should have already done is open the Excel sheet titled Excel sheet for component selections, which is shown here. Um, on an Excel sheet, along the left side, we have the rows are numbered. And across the top, we have the columns are labeled as letters. So for example, we have a cell um, where the word camera is, is row three, column A. The weight next to it is row three, column B. So when we start talking about cells, we're going to identify a cell by a row and number and a column letter. Um, I've already made some adjustments to the column widths so that on row number three, they meet the, the width to fit the column or the column headings such as camera, weight, data recorder, transmitter, et cetera. And the height of the rows are the same except for row three with the cameras. And I'm gonna show you a little bit how to change row height a little bit later. But for today, our task is we're given three different components. We have four cameras, A, B, C, D, three data recorders, PRS, and two transmitters, WX. Each of those have an associated weight. Your goal is to choose one of each of those and then determine if they meet the weight restriction of 110.3. From mathematics, if you remember the study of combinations, if you wanna know the total number of combinations, or in our case, the number of options, you take the number of the first item, cameras, there's four, multiply it by the number of data recorders, three, and multiply that by the number of transmitters, two. So in this case, four times three times two says, we know we're gonna have 24 different options, and we wanna determine which of those 24 meet the weight restriction. So an example um, of this is we could pick camera A, data recorder P, transmitter W, or camera A, data recorder P, transmitter X or camera A, data recorder R, transmitter W, and so on until we get um, 24 different combinations. Now I'm gonna show you several different uh, useful things for Excel. And uh, in many cases, I'll show you two different ways to do it. Uh, there may be even more ways to do it. The, the method you use to solve these is really based on your personal preference, based on practice. So I'm just going to try to show you some different ways. Now, the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take these headings that we have in row three, and we're going to move those to row number nine. So the first thing we have to do is we have to know how to highlight a group of objects. So I wanna highlight from camera over to weight in row three. And there, I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. The first way is I'm gonna go over to row th three, column A, and I'm gonna left click on my mouse, and then I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna move it to the right. And you'll notice it, it becomes grayed out. So those are the sections in that row that are currently highlighted. Okay, the second way to do this is I can left click on camera in row three, column A. Now I'm gonna move my mouse across to row three, column H. I'm gonna hold the shift button down and left click again, and it automatically puts it there. So those are two different ways to highlight a group of objects in a row. And we're gonna talk about how to do more different highlighting of different types of things in a minute. Now what I need to do is I need to copy this. Again, I'm gonna show you two ways. 
The first way is with those highlighted, I'm going to right click on my mouse and a series of options will come up, cut, copy, paste, and there's a whole list of things here. Well, what we want to do is we want to go copy. So now you'll notice there's this moving dotted line across there, and that tells us that we have copied those objects. Now, uh, I'm, I'm going to just paste these over to the side here and then delete them because I need to um, I, I, I need to show you the second way of doing this before I paste. And I've got to do something else here because I forgot I had made boxes and I don't want boxes over there. Okay, the second way to do this, again, I need to highlight this. So however I have it highlighted, I'm gonna do what's called a key shortcut. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simultaneously hold down the control button and the letter C. And you'll notice I get those dotted lines around the boxes that have been highlighted. So those are two different ways to, to copy a section that's been highlighted. Just a reminder, the first one is you right click and then it gives you a list of options. You select copy, or I just highlight it and I go control C. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna post, paste these into row nine, starting with A. Again, there's two ways to do this. So I am going to highlight by just right clicking on section A, um, and I'm gonna then uh, right click and you'll notice I have these options. Well, here's paste. So I wanna paste them there. If I hold it over the first one, this shows what's gonna show there. If I go to the next one, it's the same. Um, you'll notice if I go to the fourth one, that, by the way, these two are the same. This one, if I had numbers, it would do the numbers. This one has a formula. This one transposes. So instead of going horizontal, it does vertical. This does some other formatting and this does a link. Uh, you'll notice in the empty spaces there, it puts a zero. So what I wanna do is I wanna select the first one and I highlight there and it's copied. Now I'm gonna delete those and show you the first one or the second way. Again, I need to highlight, I need to copy. And now I'm gonna show you the keystroke um, shortcut is I hold the control button and the letter V and I've copied. So if I want to copy and paste um, this, the first option is you right click to mouse, select copy, go to where you want to put those objects and then you right click and select paste. The other way is I highlight it then I go control C, go to where I want to move it and control V. Um, so the key is we're going to be using the highlight, cut and paste over and over and over and over again when you use Excel. So you want to get familiar with using it so that it becomes very easy on the do. Now you'll notice the row height in row three is different than the row height in number nine. So I, I wanted to quick show you how I can ch easily change row heights for an entire row. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the number three for row three, and you'll notice it highlights the entire row. I'm then gonna, anywhere on there, I'm gonna right click and down at the, near the bottom, there's an option called row height. And you'll notice on here, it says currently the row height is 22.2. Well, I just needed to know what that number was. Um, it, and don't worry about what units those are. Just realize it's 22.2. Okay, I'm now going to go to number nine and I highlight row nine. I'm going to select row height. Currently, it's 15.6. So I'm going to change it to 22.2. Select OK, or you can just hit the Enter button. And now those two rows are the same. I will point out as you're going through Excel, I always try to save after every major step. So I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna to save this. So in case something shuts down, I haven't lost all this.